Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here and thank you for the 1,000 subs, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. Last December, I had 60, 60 subs and then fast forward a year, I got 1,000. So thank you very much. Let's get ready for episode seven. I am nervous. I am excited. I am moist. I am <laughs> everything. So let's just get into it. Let's do it right now. If you think the glass is weird, I'm sorry. I just, I've been having some major headaches the last few days. It was, it's been pretty bad. Um, Cause I work in front of a computer too. So it's, um, this just helps me um, be able to look at a screen a little bit longer. Anyways, let's watch this recap. I don't know if you guys see my prediction video on who's the dragon, but I'm, I'm going for Rand. And let's start to raise the hashtag go rand so hashtag go rand because if you add go to rand is dragon and that's the only thing you need to know that's it that's why he's the dragon whoa this is holy shit what's going on here wow is she pregnant and why does she look like rand oh You gotta be freaking shitting me. Is this Rand's mom? Oh, holy shit. Holy fuck. Dude, this chick is a, this chick is a badass. Whoa, she's pregnant too, man. Look at her kicking ass. Hmm. Oh my God. Ooh, this baby picked the wrong time to be born. <gasps> oh. Oh no. Dude, this chick is awesome. Who is she? No, 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 no. You don't, no. She's not gonna give birth right there. Oh my God. I've seen this in real life and it's not pretty. And without anesthesia. Is that who I think it is? <sighs> Episode seven already started with a bang. Holy fuck. Sorry for cursing, but Jesus. You know the darkness in him. You know it better than anyone. Do you really think he's ready for what lies ahead? Mm. Oh, so that was it? Of course he is. Let's go get him. To do so would be to throw yourself at Martin Shin and ask it to feast on your soul. Ooh. What is Martin Shin? Rain's a guy. It's moving quite quickly. <laughs> he left us. Yep. You don't actually believe that, do you? Come on, naive. It's all over. We'll find him. Yep. Thank you. That had to be Rand's mom. Hashtag go Rand. And if you hashtag things, go find me on Twitter. At Pete the Heat. But warning, my Twitter is like an old... It's like, it's not dedicated to Wheel of Time or to anything that I watch. It's just, in, it's a general. And the one thing that we cannot afford is for the dragon to turn to the shadow. That's why she's not like crazy about bringing him back. Feels like Medusa is going to come out of nowhere. Have you guys seen that Clash of Titans? Terrible movie. <laughs> it was a fucking terrible movie. Ex fucking excuse me. What do you mean loading? What in the hell? And the one thing that we cannot afford is for the dragon to turn to the shadow. Matt's seeing some heavy shit though. With his parents being losers. And then having to take care of his sisters. He's, he's got the weight of the world on his shoulders. So he's probably thinking like, if I go in there, I may die. I need to get back to my sisters. Cause they're going to turn out, just be like my parents. If I don't step in, let's not forget his mom talking shit to him, by the way. You're going to be just like your dad. Worse. There's something worse than falling Jeez. into the bottomless pit. Oh yes, sir. I can think of at least 
It's all right, Louis. We understand. Hmm. So he's like the new Degress Tyson of their group. <laughs> he actually kind of sounds like he too. <laughs> uh, I love you, Neil, by the way. You're great. You were scowling. I bet I'm pouting. <laughs> Say something to him. Come on. Oh, look at her face. She wants to interact. What? There's something up there. How can you see that? How can he see that? It's dark as hell in there. I'll ask for your patience. If he's asking for patience, then we can't die. We'll rest here while Loyal works out the correct path. It's a, a day's journey inside. How did you see that? Thank you. I don't know. Thank you. How did you see that? Boy, oh boy, this is getting. It's getting crazy. What happened to that other chick? It's she's definitely in a yield because she looks like the one that was hanging on the little bird cage. Same complexion, same hair. How much you want to bet that dude was Rand's dad? He's actually adopted. No wonder Rand was so quick to pull that ball and so proficient at it, too. He comes from a race of badass people. Negan? Oh, 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 shit, what the fuck is that? Trollocks? Did it just get a little colder in here? Oh, dear. I'm sorry, I didn't Oh, shit. Oh, okay. who's, who's, my chin chin or chin chin? Who's that? Oh, shit. Who the fuck is that? I can't handle this. I hope loyal. This is like, has every sign of a boss fight. If you ever played RPG games, this is a sign of a boss fight. Oh God, do not fall. What is that? Locusts? You will murder these children and call it heroism. Out of the world. That's why you killed them. Because you loved another woman more than your wife. Huh? Who does he love? Please, channel. Super Saiyan Blue, come on, let's go. Holy shit. Yes! Yes! Come on. Let's... Whoa. Come on, Moraine. Dude, I got emotional right there. Holy shit. Her eyes. Uh-oh. Where are we? The fortress city of Valdara. So they're in Nevada. Was you heard in the wind. Put it out of your mind. <sighs> Was that the dark one whispering things into their ear to make you want to make them want to give up? And if that's so, then if it is the dark one, then the dark one knows they're after him. Oh man, this is gonna be like the two towers, Lord of the Rings, the two towers. On behalf of Lord Agamar, I welcome you back to Faldara. Welcome home, <laughs> you bloody great bastard. <laughs> home. So that's his home. So is, is this where they make? The warders. Oh. It's the first time we've seen another Asian besides Lan. Is he related to them? Your presence warms me, Daishan. Huh. And you, Moraine said I. To what do we owe this pleasure? Neither I nor any I said I doubt your ability to. My lord. I should hope not. We have guarded Talwin's gap for a thousand years. That's Shang's son. The Dark One has begun to use the ways to move his armies. Now, while it behooves you to guard the gap, as your family has always done, it might be prudent. Do as she says. Yeah, now you're gonna take her seriously, huh? Who's that? Is... No, that's not... Okay, hold on a second. Pause, pause, pause. What is he doing there? 
this dude is bad news. This dude just traveled through the portal. What the fuck is he doing there? And while your power may not have been strong enough to become one of us, I hope I might still trust your discretion. Mm hmm. Uh, so she tried to become an Aes Sedai, she just wasn't strong enough. Matt Corther. And to whom should I send this message? The Red Aja. Oh my god, Moraine. I bet we see Matt's true power next time we see him. Well, when the Reds find him. If that is indeed the next time we see him. Whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Turn around, recognize the motherfucker. And he's laughing again. Patton Fane's dead. He was there on Baltheim when the Trollocs came. Nope, nope, no, 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 nope, nope, nope. Patton Fane is, is, he's with the Dark One. He has to be with the Dark One. There's no other way that he's just not. He is. He's too fucking shady, man. Uh oh. Dinners with the travelers were better than anything you had ever told me. <laughs> oh. All of you. So a you terrible to. cook. Always. Was she and I said I? A blue? The big brooding one has. They're both big. And they both brood. That's what she said. Has yellow eyes. Blood running down his chin. And the redhead is rocking a baby. White flame and a ring of gold. Oh, you saw something for me. Oh, which is going to be your downfall. Oof. Is she seeing the future? Whoa, Rand has a baby. Now, bartender, no woman I've known since she was young. She sees glimpses of the pattern, the future. And I hope she'd tell me which of you is the dragon so I could save the rest. You will die there. Oof. Ground to dust between two forces of nature. Which one of us is it? She doesn't know. Oh. And so tomorrow I will take all of you to the eye, knowing that three of you will not return. Fuck. You've made your choice. Now we're going to make ours. But we'll make our own. <laughs> we leave at dawn. Jesus fucking Christ. One was gold. Does that mean anything? I mean, dragon, fire, gold. The dragon reborn being one of us. We only believe it because she told us it's true. She can't lie. That doesn't mean she can't mislead. You're a wisdom. If Maureen wasn't a part of this, you wouldn't think twice. Mm. That's true. But if none of us are the dragon... What if it is, Matt? Come on. What? Oh? You never really got to know him. If you had, then you'd know how hard he's had it. How he fights to get by. He doesn't have much. And what he does have, he gives to his friends. Oh, no. Well, I guess you're the expert on that, aren't you? Oh, bro, you... <laughs> you owe her an apology for what? The truth? Stop. He loves her? Stop. I am so tired of you two fighting over her like she's something you can win. He loves a Gwen. I'm sorry, what, what did you just say? It's been right in front of me this whole time. Wow. I never even noticed. Oh my God. The day you proposed to Layla, that was the day Gwen and I got together. He loves a Gwen. Oh no. It's like Homeboy said in his video that maybe his wife was part of Dark One's army. He was probably right. Oh my God. Ah, oh, Nynaeve. Oh, you just created such an awkward situation. <laughs> you better play with the hair. Oh my God, dude. She shouldn't have said that. I feel I've taken everything from you. And more. Mm. Before you, I had nothing to live for. And nothing to die for. Mm. You have given me both. Oh. 
Oh, sweet land. I like her. <laughs> oh, man she knows bro she knows she feels what you feel too she fought no way is that his family is that his dad Oh, Naimi, she likes it too. She's smiling. That's a first. Wait, that's not his family. No, maybe it is his family, but who are they? They're all so different from each other. Hello. Hello. What the fuck? How did he get there so fast? What do you plan to join us? Come in. She's smiling. I can't stop smiling. Oh, um, no, I said I. But something to eat would be lovely. Thank you. Have a seat. A <laughs> 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 fucking dad, dude. <laughs> She is very sweet. <laughs> She's enthusiastic. And she likes you a lot. <laughs> I can't stop smiling. <laughs> Why can't I stop smiling? Hashtag Leneve. Thank you for including me tonight. You didn't give me much of a choice. <laughs> You're smiling. Come on, lad. Come on, lad. Make a move, brother. Go on, dude. Make your move. Make your move. Good night. Ah. <laughs> Come on. What are you doing? <laughs> He's right there. Land. Oh. <sighs> you stupid man. He was ready for you, man. Holy shit. Oh, oh, <laughs> her smile. Let's go, Nynaeve. I remember when I used to look like that. Do you want me to go? Oh, <gasps> oh. <gasps> Yes, yes, yes. Come on, Rand. Hashtag go Rand. I waited in my room for an hour for you to come and apologize. Oh, tell her. That when you're actually ready to talk, you find me. Gotta know your woman. I don't want to lose you. Mm. Whatever happens. At the eye. This power that lives inside of you, you can't ignore it. Because it won't let you. I'll come with you to the White Tower. Every eye that I need some water. Ooh. Wow. Now you're dating the dragon chick. Hashtag go rand. <laughs> I'm not gonna live that down. Why so angry? Is it not what you expected? Why did he call you Daishan? <laughs> I hate it when he calls me that. It's a title. Mm. Given to future kings of Malkia. He treats you like a son. My family was slaughtered. Oh. They smuggled me. You are a king without a kingdom. A boy without a family. And now, 
You finally belong. Mm, he wanted a place to belong. No, no, no. Say, I belong to you. Make the player move. Make the player move. Do it. Tell her, no, I belong to you. Just fucking do it. Oh. If they have kids, they will be the most bad ass kids on the fucking planet. My God. Milan's abilities and then Nynaeve's. I'll get you there. I'll get you to Nynaeve. I didn't mean to find her there, but I had to get away up the mountain into the snow. He was crying. Dad. He was so tired. Oh my god, his dad was trying to tell him. That door is made of iron. Three men your size can break it down. You are the dragon reborn. What? Oh, the dragon reborn. Oh my god. Hashtag go ran. I think we got off on the wrong foot. I'm sorry, I didn't even introduce myself. I know who you are. Look me in the eye and tell me that you want to know what I've got to say. A man in armor, carrying your heron marked blade. That's his dad. That's his dad. Ah! Oh my God. I saw a baby born on the slopes of Dragon Mount. Oh, Rand. Oh no. In a sleeping village surrounded by two rivers. It's Rand. Rand's a dragon. It's Rand. Oh my god. Do I make it back? <sighs> I didn't think so. <sighs> Oh man, man, the dragon is ran. Go ran. Hashtag go ran. Hashtag go ran. Hashtag go ran. Hashtag go ran. Bro, she's with Lan. They're probably still banging. Ooh, Nynaeve is not there. Where could she be? Where could Nynaeve be? Where have you been? <laughs> Nowhere. I mean, you've been somewhere. By the looks of this perfectly made bed, it wasn't in your room. So, what did you decide? <sighs> Awkward. What happened? Oh. It's me. Ooh. She left. By herself. With Rand. Rand. Oh. It looks like the things that you dust off of your top of your ceiling fan. You know when they fall down, they fall down all weird and crooked. That's what it looks like. A ceiling fan dust. Oh my freaking Jesus. My, oh my, oh my God. Like, I wish I could show you guys the entirety of the reaction. I wish I could. I wish I could put the whole hour, whole 60 minutes up. But I can't because I had a reaction. I had a, a smile or a surprised face the entire freaking time. This episode is now my favorite so far. And I know Nynaeve's coming to you was probably my second favorite, but this one, this one is my favorite so far. Because from beginning to end, we saw nothing but important things. It doesn't have to be action all the time to be important. That's not how storytelling works. The way storytelling works is to give you crucial and important pieces of information as you go along, whether it's through fighting. And oftentimes the fighting gets in the way of the fighting gets in the way of you taking in that information. This is a great show. I love the shit out of it. And I hope you guys are enjoying these reactions because I am having a blast. I had somebody comment 
you know, your reactions are pretty good if they're actually real reactions. My people, let me tell you something. These reactions are 125.99% real. Like I don't, this is, let me open up a bit. This is, this is, this is what I feel like when I watch it with friends or watch it with my girlfriend, you know, I'm actually a little bit more this way with my kids, but here talking to you guys, even though it's talking to way more people than I know in a, you know, person to person, one to one basis, I keep hitting this damn microphone. But I feel like this is the, the one place that I can really let my emotions flow without being judged. Even though a bunch of people are going to be watching this later on, it kind of shows a side of myself that I don't have to act. I don't have to pretend. I don't have to put a mask on, you know? And if you gotten to this point, if you're not subscribed, I've seen sometimes 75%, 80% of the people that are watching this video are not subscribed what are you doing click the subscribe button be part of our community we are growing this is 1k is only the beginning we are going up up and away this is why guys this is why i made my channel and i niched down to tv series and i'm starting to think that i'm going to start to niche down into fantasy series because honestly they have the best storytelling and again i watch other things on my channel like ted lasso which i love by the way oh my god if you haven't seen ted lasso it doesn't matter if you've watched soccer slash football at all it's hilarious ted lasso is so freaking funny but you know i just the lord of the rings game of thrones you know harry potter to an extent i wasn't really big of a crazy of a fan of harry potter but i can definitely 100 percent 1000 percent get behind the wheel of time and this makes me want to read the books i want to read the book i want to read book one as soon as i'm done with season one and i know it's going to be different and i know man look if you have a different opinion about the show that is fine but you have to understand this is the first time perspective i didn't read the book i'm watching this this is the, my first exposure to the wheel of time i haven't read the books so you have to keep that in mind if i'm liking the show please don't be butt hurt because i'm liking the show okay it's my first introduction okay i might read the books and i might think holy shit, these books are way better than what they did on the tv show and most of the times the books are better but yeah this is what eight episodes they have to condense a whole fucking book maybe two into one season eight episodes an hour each that's hard to do that is very hard to do but a friend of mine and i are working on a graphic novel project and coming up with these ideas fucking hell coming up with these ideas and coming up with storylines and how things tie together this is hard man it's not easy work you try to go ahead and make up a story and make up something cohesive cohesive something that makes sense and put it into one hour slots right eight hours right eight episodes more or less and then send it out to the world knowing that you probably had 80 hours of source material to go through to cram into those eight hours you can't possibly put everything into it you just can't so enjoy it for what it is think of if it's different like i said i don't know if it is if it's it's if it's very very much different just think of it as maybe like an alternate timeline an alternate universe you know and maybe stop worrying about it being so different you know i i was and i and i get it guys for you that read the books and don't like this i get it i'm a huge fan of the walking dead okay hold look 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 negan funko pop negan bat that sits right there underneath the walker painting okay i have every single walking dead comic so i know what it's like for the tv show to deviate from source material okay i know what it's like trust me the walking dead is vastly 
different the main storyline the one that's still going it's in the last season it is vastly vastly it is vastly different than what it is from the comics there's so many changes there's huge changes but guess what although i don't agree with all of the changes although i don't agree with some of the things that they are doing i can appreciate what they are doing because sometimes actors will leave because they want to leave sometimes you know you have to kill an actor off because his work ethic is not good so you have to come up with different storylines rather than cultivate a toxic work environment or keeping somebody on the show that doesn't want to be there and then the acting suffers from it and then the overall appearance of the show suffers from it and that's what happened with the walking dead a drama between directors and some Andrew Lincoln was tired of being Rick Grimes, so he wanted to take a break. You know, it's just, you have to understand sometimes, and I know it's hard, man, it's hard, but you have to understand, it's it's not easy. So put yourself in the shoes of the creators. Are you just gonna drop the show? Are you just gonna stop writing? Put all these actors out of work. Now, it's not like this on the wheel of time, but you know, uh, the guy that played Matt, he left. They had to recast him. They already did. He'll be Matt for season two. Will it be weird to see somebody else as Matt in season two? Yes, it'll, it will be weird to see somebody else as Matt in season two. But that's what it is. We can't help it. We can't help it that he left. Okay? So, making a very long story short. Damn it. Enjoy the Wheel of Time for what it is. It's a great show. I have no freaking idea what's going to happen in the next episode, but I cannot freaking wait. I can't wait to see what is happening next. Down below, there'll be a video and a playlist. I don't want you guys to check out the playlist is obviously my Wheel of Time playlist. My video is going to be whatever latest video it is at the time of release. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.